In previous lesson, we talked about an interface that Linkfield uses to work with different type of data sets. Normally, we use two different type of interfaces, iEnumerable and also iQueryable. So, first let's go and see what is this uh, two different interfaces in the Microsoft documentation and talk about it. So, this is a Microsoft documentation about the generic type of iEnumerable. As you can see, iEnumerable of T exposes the enumerator, which supports a simple iteration over a collection of a specific type. This is it. The most important mission of this iEnumerable is to create the iteration functionality for us. Let's go a little down and see the next part here, which is this remarks. As you can see, the iNumerable of T is the base interface for collections in system.collections.generic. So any type of collections will inherit this iNumerable. And then they have that iteration inside of them. This is the most important thing. And also inside of iEnumerable, we have access to get enumerator method. And this get enumerator returns an enumerator that iterates through the collection. And we have some different extension methods like where, like any, like all, count, and a lot of different type of extension methods that we will work with them later in next lessons. And also let's talk about the iQueryable. As you can see, this iQueryable type of T will provide functionality to evaluate queries against a specific data source, wherein the type of the data is now. So normally we use this iQueryable when we want to work with external data sources like the SQL Server or Entity Framework or different type of databases. And this iQueryable has an special functionality. It will allows us to run our query on that external source. This is too important for us. You will see this in the next lessons when we implement the connection to SQL Server and Entity Framework Core. But for now, let's say that when we use iEnumerable, we will receive list of all of the data, and they, the data can be 1 million items from the database. So we will uh, get all of that 1 million items, and we will uh, save them in our program memory, and then we will select anything from them. So this has a huge cost for us, because we don't need all of them. On the other hand, iQueryable allows us to select the, just the items that we want, and uh, selecting these items on the database and just getting that items from database so using this time instead of getting all of that 1 million items we just receive five items so our response will be faster and this is better for us so this has better performance this is the most important difference between the iNumerable and also the iQueryable let's go and see some example of iNumerable and iQueryable in C -sharp. I created a simple console application using .NET 8 and inside of this application in the program.cs I want to create an iEnumerable with type of a string with name of list1. This is it, a simple variable. So let me right click on the iEnumerable and go to the definition of it. So you can see that uh, this iEnumerable with generic type of T is inheriting from iEnumerable. Again, here I right click and go to the definition. So, you can see that this is inside of the namespace of system.collections and it has this public interface of iEnumerable. Instead of that, we have iEnumerator of getEnumerator. So anything that inherits from this iEnumerable will have this getEnumerator that allows us to implement for each on them. This is so good. This will help us a lot. And also, let's take a look at iQueryable with the generic type and I use type of a string for it with name of list 2. Let's again right click on this iQueryable and go to the definition of it. So you can see that uh, we are using this iQueryable generic which inherits from iNumerable of T and iNumerable and iQueryable. So we are inheriting from iNumerable. So if I go to the definition, again I have get enumerator. And also if I again go to definition, this time I go to iQueryable and go to definition, you can see that Again, I'm inheriting from iEnumerable, but here I have this iQuery provider. This will help us to uh, use the providers for the link, for the entity framework, for the SQL Server, and the other databases. And this is it. So let's uh, see some different examples. Let me delete this. So for this example, I created a class of a student. As you can see, inside this student class, I have ID, name, email, and age. And uh, I will save my data using this student. So uh, the only thing is I created this override of 
string of two string and inside of that I override the two string method and when I use this two string I will return the this string with ID, name, email and age so I can print them. This is the only thing. So let's go back to the program and this time I want to create an inaudible with type of this student and I use name of students and we need to initialize it so I say this equals to a new list with type of students and we need to use some different examples so I will add some students with different names for example John Doe, Michael Davis and the other things so you can see that I have this AI enumerable and inside of that I'm using list of this students so this is it now I have this students and you can see that the type of it is AI enumerable of students and because this is an AI enumerable I have access to iteration so let me create a for each for each so I will use this for each and you can see that everything is suggesting to me so uh, suggestion is so good as you can see so uh, I use this for each because I have access and I say for each var of a student in the list of these students just console that right line a student dot name but I will use a student dot to a string it's better to see all of that data and this is it now let's uh, run our project to see the result as you can see, we can use this for each because we are inheriting from I enumerable. And this is it. And also, this I enumerable allows us to use anything. So let me uh, have this and uh, let me comment this. And uh, let me use this student's name to show you how we can use that extension method. So because this student, you can see that the type of it is I enumerable, we have access to extension methods. So if I press dot, you can see that I have access to anything, for example, uh, to list or let's say where and select don't worry we will cover all of these in the next lessons so you can see that we have a lot of good extension methods that uh, are accessible because we are using our enumerable this is it this is all the thing that you need to know for now uh, and that is when we use our enumerable and our queryable we can iterate over our collection and use some different good extension methods so this is it let's continue and go to the next lesson